This is our mm-hmm. second break where we thank our producers for coming in with their talent. Canary Cry News Talk is a place for therapeutic reflection of our troubling world with all the giant creatures and monsters that are trying to eat us. And we encourage those of you out there that have been blessed with talent, whether it be through painting, sculptures, literature, architecture, cinema, music, theater, fushigi theater, interpretive dance, Legos, sand castles, whatever mm. it may be. <laughs> that'd yeah. be cool. Yeah. Canary Cry Sand Castle. That'd be cool. Uh, we, we invite you to create something in the theme of the show or something that comes up in the show and, or, or just, you know, on theme, there are some artists who, uh, will bring different stories that, uh, we don't cover and do it in the form of art. So whatever you want to do in the theme of the show, we encourage you to do it and we will share it here so we can process the world together in community and uh to start things off here we're gonna do some uh, audio production we had a handful of things to share today from the audio production front uh, first up, we got one from Alaska four nine. I think I saw Alaska four nine in the chat earlier. Um, yeah. Uh, so thank you, Alaska four nine. And he sent us, uh, two of the SCOTUS jingles for consideration. There's the first one. Fall in line with this code is neat. Peace brother. Now everybody know I am the judge. That's fun. Who is that? I wonder what that's from. I don't know. Yeah. 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 He, uh, he can tell us probably. Alaska 4 yeah. Let us know. Oh, uh, yeah. He's in the chat. He's in the Let chat. Yeah. Tell us. Uh, the other one here. Hear ye. Hear ye. Fully operational, huh? Well, I'll be the judge of that. There you go. <laughs> okay. These are fun. There's a, it, I'm tempted to like kind of use all these in one big mega jingle or something oh yeah mega wonderful jingle. thank you very much alaska thank you alaska 49 and uh, not to be outdone here uh we got lloyd v coming in lloyd v who usually does our deep fakes uh, but mm-hmm. he gave us a little collection here he says hey peeps the following items attached to the email that he sent us uh the supreme court jingle uh, that we combined with uh, Alaska Four Nines at the beginning of the show. Supreme so, Court, Scotus. <laughs> it's got to be the tag. Like like whatever, it. whatever we have in front. I think that's the, the, the you know, it's the, a, the end it's of punchy. the jingle. Yeah, it's punchy. It's it punchy. Lands. It's poppy. It's yeah, good. There you go. Yeah. So thank you for that, uh, Lloyd V. He also sent us. <laughs> gosh. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't know where you know it's art, it's jingles, it's all kind of stuff. He sent us uh, a statue of lamb. In front of the Amfort, or in Amfort, the Netherlands, there, and he hmm. said that um, uh, he was there today, which looks a lot like Lamb from uh, the creature that Alistair Crowley drew. And so there's hmm. a statue. Of, yeah, uh, of, of course of there is. Similar. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. And uh, one more thing from Lloyd V. Not you know, this is a package deal here. Gonz's new role in Halo. Uh, here it is. <laughs> Ah. For those who uh, are just listening, this was some clips from the the new Halo live action movie, I believe that they're doing. Uh, and we got Gonz's face um, superimposed or deep faked onto not Master Chief, but presumably whoever the main character of that movie will be. That's a pretty good look for you, Gonz. Yeah, you look I'm very uh... competent. Yeah, I need to. I need to get in shape. This inspires, this inspires me to, to trim down a little bit. <laughs> Looking at the potential, you know, it's like, oh wow, you know, I can I can make things work here. Just need you know, to just need to takes. eat uh, <laughs> carrots and between Lloyd's uh, <laughs> deep fakes and Dame Alley's, you know, ripped, ripped yeah, drawings swole. of us. 
Yeah. You should feel very inspired. Yeah. There, there should be no excuses, but uh, you've got sometimes... that smolder in your eyes too. Uh, <laughs> I know. I know. It's real, real good look. You got that cabana boy smolder. Yeah. And, and because, you know, Lloyd V is the deep fake man. I just want to bring real briefly, you know, we always like to sneak in a story here and there when it's relevant. I just want to sneak this in. This is from Gizmodo. It was published yesterday in the headline here. FBI says people are using deep fakes to apply to remote jobs. Imposters were reported using stolen identities, fake video and doctored voice voices to access sensitive company data, according to the feds. So, um, those are two different things. Accessing yeah, I know. That's sensitive an- company data and getting a job are two different things. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand. Huh. Uh, according to the FBI right. announcement, more companies have been reporting people applying to jobs using video images or recordings that are manipulated to look and sound like somebody else. These fakers are also using personal identifiable information for other people, stolen identities, to apply for jobs at IT programming, database, and software firms. The report noted that many of these Open positions had access to sensitive customer or employee data, as well as financial oh. and proprietary company info, implying the I imposters see. could have a desire to steal sensitive information, as well as a bent to cash a fraudulent paycheck. So, yeah, they're using the deep fake to get in, get the job, and then they have access to that data. And yeah, so that that's where it connects. So uh, I, uh, hopefully uh, <laughs> Lloyd V is our uh, our white hat deep fake man. So. We're glad to have you here, Lloyd V. Uh, thank you for all of the, the whole package there with the jingle, the, the visual and the deep fake, the, the trifecta, the hat trick Indeed. is complete. All right. We got another one here from Jonathan F. Jonathan F. Oh boy. Come on. Move it. Move it. Move it. Move it. Jonathan F. Jonathan F. Note, hello, fellas. Thought it would be appropriate to throw some dubstep trappy vibes onto the latest Nephilim update. Not that we don't uh, already yeah, have an am- abundance of dubstep esque audio productions. Anyway, hope uh, everyone enjoys and God bless. And, oh no, where is it? Oh my gosh, did I not grab this one? I'm sorry, folks. Hold on. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm, I need to, okay, I'm need to download Gons it. Gonz is gonna hack the mainframe. So load it up. We'll do a break into his here. jingle cannon. We'll do the break if it's uh, okay, okay with you. Give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. Give me a break. 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 It's never long enough. Never. <laughs> never I think that long. one was supposed to be our, our new break jingle. What about um, the stall? Stall, 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 stall. stall. Yeah, I got that here somewhere. Yeah, it's now, okay. now no, I'm looking for a jingle to pull to, no, to, don't get to find the other jingle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, stay no, on, what stay happened? on task here while I tell a story. Oh, yeah, I'll tell, tell a story. you a story. Yeah. yeah, I'll tell you a good story. I. Uh, Hmm, I already told you the cricket story. Oh, my my flamethrower. Yeah, I haven't talked a whole lot about my flamethrower. Turns out flamethrowers, pretty affordable and pretty readily available at your local ranch-based department store. And so I got this little flamethrower. You just hook in one of those little camping propane thingies. Uh, Excellent for purging the earth of demon crickets Mm. um also a very fun way to get rid of some weeds that are that sort of uh, especially if it's dry out yeah i was gonna say in driveways or something you can just burn those things Mm -hmm. out just torch them baby it's it's x no more pulling weeds now just burning them with fire yeah so far i have not found the message out I've not found a problem that I couldn't solve with this flamethrower. Great. So I have the, the just file. A it was recommendation. Just in the, yeah. Okay. I have the file. It's in the wrong uh, folder there. So yes, Jonathan F. Here we go. Most complete baby mammoth in North America is found. It's happening, Basil. Found. It's skin intact. Some three uh, thirty thousand years ago. Oh, it's terrifying. Yeah, I know. Have you seen the photos? It's a zombie elephant. 
<laughs> I like that end there with the that was elephant. a good one. Thank you very much, Jonathan F. Thank you, appreciate it. All right, that does it for the well, mostly audio production, but also some other things in there. Appreciate it. Let's move on to some art. One art, Kay. please. <laughs> and we're gonna kick it off with Dame Alley of the Skillet Nation. And as usual, this comes with a note, and this note includes a haiku. Uh, hold on, let me pull up the image here first. Uh, here we go. Sorry, took a second here. Boom! And the haiku. A titleless Dame Epony Blaze haiku. Dame Sarah Gilbert keeps calm and develops jabs. Vaccinology. Co-authored. Vaxers. Gripping. Illuminating. AZ vaccine tale. Not just anyone gets a penguin named for them. And a Barbie doll. Wow. Beautiful. And accompanying this haiku, we've got a beautiful headshot pencil drawn by Dame Allie of Dame Sarah Gilbert. Yes, the famous lizard person, <laughs> British, also <laughs> British person, who has both a Barbie doll and a penguin named after her. Uh, she's looking very stern in this photo. She's, you can tell she's thinking about something very, very deeply. And she does not like that we are watching her do it. She's very sort of upset, uh, but in, in sort of a British way, if you can imagine. <laughs> uh, and you look deep into her eyes and you think, why am I so afraid right now? And it's, it is because she does have lizard eyeballs. Uh, sorry, even lizards can have penguins named after them, folks. Don't let them fool you. Thank you very much, Dame Alley. You know, th this is one that's really kind of tripping me out. The, the reflection in the eyes. You know how when you look at people's eyes, you can see the reflection of the environment in their eyes? You totally yes, have we've had that. this conversation I, I know, specifically I know, about Alley. I know, but yeah. oh, my question knows. is, is the slit in her eye that, that you know we, we think it's reptilian eyes right mm -hmm. but is she just mm -hmm. is she just standing before the penguin that is named after mm. her she might just be standing before the penguin is that the penguin thorn in the reflecting in her thorn eyes? in the chat thorn in the chat is saying she's upset about her garden <laughs> <laughs> if you remember folks from yesterday she's she was very very upset about how poorly her, her garden was going yeah uh, thank you very much, Dame Alley and you, Dame Ebony Alley. Blaze. And Ebony Blaze, appreciate it. Next up, we have Sir Dove, Knight of Rospeltia. One art piece from Dove. And I will put it up here. We got a note that says, Peace! For this week's NWO Fantasy League update, we've got another piece of promotional artwork after suffering injury after injury at the quarterback position. We, you know what? We need that, like, old football uh Music. Do you know what I'm talking about, Basil? I don't know if you mm -hmm. watch the sports balls on the TVs, but they I'm have aware the, of uh, the the vibe. Yeah, there's like yeah, some some trumpets, and yeah, there's a whole song that the the football uses. But okay, just <laughs> imagine that in the background <laughs> after suffering injury. Well, do you want to do it? Because you do the whole like announcer thing. Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're doing our, after suffering injury after injury at the quarterback position. Shilzilla, the rookie, just signed off the practice squad. Lines up behind team captain Hard Seltzer to lay it all on the line as his number is called. Hope you like it. Keep doing what you're doing. I'll keep praying for you. And thank you very much, Dove. And here we have some uh, NWO Fantasy League promotional artwork as Gans prepares the NWO FL jingle that we do have prepared. It is a New World Order Fantasy League. They're all 100% eugenics, transhumanist lizards that control everything. They hate you. And lined up here, we've got uh, an excellent uh, action shot of uh, Hard Seltzer, number double zero, looking very <laughs> robust 
and powerful on the field. <laughs> and behind him, Shilzilla, he's off the bench, folks, and he is in the game. Number one, Lil Shilzilla, he is uh, taking a stab at what it's like to be in the big leagues. I'm glad they gave him a chance over there at CCCNN. <laughs> <laughs> what is that a reference to? Is that Canary Cry Community CNN? It can get Canary Cry CNN maybe or Communist Chinese yeah. CNN. Who knows? Yeah. The <laughs> sides of their helmets have uh, what seems to be a Democrat themed logo. It's the it's like the donkey. Broncos, but it's a derpy donkey donkey face, yeah. <laughs> buck tooth uh, donkey face. Now here, here's a uh, small detail that I'm curious about. Um, okay. The seltzer captain patch, you know, these guys uh -huh. got the captain patch. Sure. It all, it's got, well, there's four stars on it, but three of them are yellow as if to uh -huh. say he's only got, he's only got three out of four stars. Sure. Why? Why is he? I don't, I don't know anything about captain's patches. I, I'm I wondering, I'm, I'm wondering, cause Dove always has, you know, thought behind all this. Mm -hmm. If, uh, in the actual game, that's like his rank, you know, and within the, his group. There's a, yeah, okay. All right. I am unaware of a star ranking system, but I'll have, I'll have to check in with Doug. Doug. <laughs> Doug. You have been called Doug. New name, Doug. Dove. Sorry, Dove. Uh, yes. And you'll notice that Shilzilla is looking very worried uh, about his chances here. He's having yeah. a hard time, but hard seltzer. You know what? He's, he's a pro. You he's know, just going to. I think uh, so. Yeah, definitely. You know, Shilzilla, the quarterback. You got Seltzer in front of you, blocking for mm -hmm. you. I, I yeah. feel good about where you know my he, position. He could, he could stop. He could stop someone. He's got some real mass. <laughs> that guy, Seltzer. This is wonderful. Thank you very much, Sir Dove. You, Sir and Dove. keep a lookout, everybody, as we are starting to make moves on the rollout of the NWO Fantasy League uh, publicity campaign here. Um, and uh, make sure to go to nwofl.com and sign up. That is the official sign up page uh, to be involved in the New World order fantasy league and uh people will be called in called up and called in uh in the order that they sign up and remember i was just on view from the bunker with Derek gilbert so we are having a wonderful uh response from that appearance um Derek gilbert will be playing we've got some other special special guests who will be uh, helping out uh, playing the game. And so uh, go sign up at nwofl.com. Mm. Mm. I'm looking at the, the team the, on the website here, scrolling through. Shilzilla and Hard Seltzer are both on the news category. Yes. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to see if there's any clue about the three out of the four stars there. So. Mm, all, I'm sure yeah. there's all kinds Nothing of mysteries. I know and, of, but we're we're still the the system continues to be developed. Yeah, you yeah, know. for sure. All right, thank you very much, Dove, Sir Dove. Excuse me, Sir Dove. Uh, okay, um, what do we? Oh, we got a microfiction. Mm, I think yes. Here we go. Microfiction. <laughs> Microfiction. I believe we only have one today, and it is from Runk Smash. Gans opens the video and watches in horror. This is even worse than the Russian mammoth warriors attacking Ukrainian shaman soldiers. He quickly begins preparing for an emergency episode. Basil, on the other hand, is now trapped online with Rooster. The saga continues. At least you're not alone. Mm hmm. Me and the rooster are finding we're finding our friendship again. OK, uh, if you are a creative person, no matter what you do, art, music, jingles, literature, all if, uh, there's other things that I'm not naming. And just because these are the types of things that we are uh, highlighting, 
doesn't mean that we wouldn't highlight almost literally anything that <laughs> our producers create for the show and send in. So uh, get your get your pencils out, get your fushigi balls, get your uh, balls. Um, yeah, fushigi balls. I didn't know there were there were balls involved. I know. I don't know. I love that bit by bit. I've been trying to explain f- explain fushigi to you, mm-hmm. and. You just haven't looked it up. Like you just haven't Googled it. Wouldn't it be it. more fun for me not to know? And, and I, the way I learn what it is truly is by a producer showing a uh, canary cry for Shiki. I'm not. You're not wrong. I mean, that, that's what I'm producer. saving it. I'm saving it for the. We need a producer to send in some a video of them performing Fushigi. And so Gons can finally know. But the I, I, national the art form of his country. <laughs> I'm, now I'm wondering what what else is involved. Is there is there actually like mochi involved? Is there food? Oh, don't be racist, guns. Why is that racist? I just want food to be oh, involved. I just want. I'm just hungry. <laughs> I am hungry. Um, yeah. So whatever you do, whatever you create, send it to canarycryradio at gmail.com and we'll put it on the show. Thank you. Thank you very much.